I don't even think he knew he won tonight. Jonathan, you hung in there and you made it count on the very last lap. How does it feel to be a champion here tonight? You have no idea. After the week we've had, uh, just to come home with all my friends and family, and especially this crowd who's always supported me, and uh, this hometown win's pretty special. Uh, I've always wanted to win the Gold Cup since I was sitting up there eating ice cream, but uh, I can't even believe it. At the scale, I said, did I win? What? Really? The, the cushion was pretty treacherous tonight, and we saw guys moving around a lot, and you hung in there. How hard was it to make that pass right at the end? Well, to be honest with you, I just tried to bide my time and uh, stay patient. I knew we had the finish to be able to be in contention, and uh, the way the week's been going, I was pretty settled in second, but uh, I smelled the rubber get down, and I've uh, passed down in the middle before for the lead, but uh, I can't believe we won it. <laughs> so what are you going to do tonight? How are you going to celebrate? Well, I think we're going to party out front and burn this place down. <laughs> Congratulations to Jonathan Allard, tonight's Gold Cup Race of Champions. I want to thank Clyde, Mary, and Lamar for supporting me. Uh, they've given me a great opportunity in the Tri-C machine. It's a pretty legendary piece. And uh, i got to thank all the guys from Hoosier. They've been really helping us. And all the teams, uh, Kerry Madsen's guys, and uh, all them guys have been helping us all week. And I really do appreciate the help. But uh, thank k and and Redline and all, all the people that help us all year. And, this is pretty special to me. Thank you. Congratulations, Jonathan Allard. Darren, tonight's track was tough. It took rubber right there at the end. Jonathan Allard got you right at the last lap. What happened? Just got beat. I mean, uh, same story, different night. Uh, this one just stings a hell of a lot worse than last night, I can tell you that. But uh, congrats to them. Uh, Jonathan's a great guy and uh, it's a good team. So. Um, you know, I don't know, we, we, we put on really hard tires banking on it laying rubber and, and I was surprised that it didn't lay rubber until so late and I only got lucky and found it on that last uh, yellow under yellow. I was buzzing my tires and kind of found it in the middle and just didn't find any in three and four. So I, I got lucky and got to the rubber in one and two, but just uh, had no idea where it was at in three and four and got beat. I don't even know if I got beat to the white line or the, or the white flag or the checker flag. Didn't see any flags, but uh, doesn't matter. Little pace for second, and he got the win. So uh, great team effort, and um, uh, it's a good run for our team, and uh, my guys just work really hard, and uh, just disappointing to uh, come, you know, not come away with the win, but uh, we'll take another second place and uh, go on tomorrow night and try to improve. Do you think those cautions maybe affected the track and not laying down rubber right away? Yeah, I mean, it probably kept it, you know, delayed it a little bit, but um, I, I, we just, I really was looking for it, you know, about halfway, and it just wasn't laying it, and, and, and I mean, that's hats off to the track crew for going out and doing some more work on it to, to keep it from doing that. Um, it's just kind of the problem when you're the leader sometimes. You, uh, you know, you can't, you, you can't really move around. I, I'm not going to move off the top where I'd been running and didn't really know what to do, and, and um, you know, that's the advantage. Maybe run a second or third back there, he can gauge uh, – you know what's happening and, and how fast he's going so um, you know the restarts were good for me that's how I got the lead uh, timed that one right and got the lead uh, but at the end of the day uh, none of it matters we just got beat and uh, we ran second well congratulations to Darren Pittman and the Great Clips number nine on tonight's second place finish you didn't even race here last night and now you come here tonight and you got a podium finish how proud of you are you and your team Oh, definitely proud of my team. I'm so thankful to be a part of this Dan Mini team. Uh, we, we had a lot of races on our motor, so um, we basically were keeping our fingers crossed it would last one more race, so we basically picked tonight to come out, so we weren't here yesterday, but uh, thank Ron Shaver for building some strong motors because we've, it was so reliable and so fast all year long. Man, we were, we were really good tonight. It was, it was heartbreaking. I just picked wrong on the restart. The bottom was working so well for me and I, I knew I was going to have to move up eventually on one of the restarts. I just picked one too late. So, But hats off to Darren Pittman. He's obviously the best, in, one of the best in the world and J.A. is a big hero of mine. So um, to finish behind these two guys, um, it's quite an accomplishment, but hopefully we get a couple spots better next time. Darren talked about banking on the track laying rubber and they did the track work right before the A feature. How hard is that for you and your team to set up a car with the track being going to be changing? I love Lowell Morale Senior, but I about killed him when I saw him doing that because I wanted it to lay rubber early because I started on the pole. I wanted it, uh, sorry guys, I wanted it to be boring, but uh, he reworked the track and it got really racy. Um, but yeah, I had no idea what we were going to do, but everybody's in the same boat. Nobody knew what, what, what was going to happen, but this car was on a rail early on and 
man, I'm so dis I'm so bummed I didn't get Dan Gold Cup championship, but man, top three again. Uh, second time we got top three at a Gold Cup, so I'm pretty proud of that. Well, congratulations Thank to you. Sean Becker and his whole team on tonight's third place finish.